Line plots for fractions. We know how to draw line plots when we are dealing with whole numbers. But we can also draw a line plot when we are dealing with fractions. The idea is the same. We want to find how many times a fraction appears in the data, but we have to be careful when drawing the number line because fractions are different from whole numbers. Let us go through an example where the data is made up of fractions of an inch. Suppose the following are the lengths in inches of different pieces of a jigsaw puzzle given as fractions. How do we make a line plot from these measurements? First, we have to determine the scale on the number line. All the fractions have six as a denominator, which tells us how many equal parts of the whole we have. So, what does this mean on the number line? It means that the spaces between all the numbers have to be divided into six equal parts. All the numbers we have are proper fractions, where the denominator is greater than the numerator. This means that all these values are in the space between zero and one. So, we can just focus on the part of the number line between zero and one. And now, we label each part after zero as shown. One-sixth, then two-sixths, then three-sixths, then four-sixths, then five-sixths, and finally, we get to one, which is equal to six-sixths. After we finish labeling our number line, we plot the data. This means we will show on the line how many times a fraction appears in the data. So we start counting how many times one-sixth appears in the data. And each time we count one-sixth, we plot a symbol over the one-sixth on the number line. We will use the letter X. For example, one-sixth appears here. So we draw an X. And here again. So we draw another X. And here. And the last one is here. Since we have four X's on the line, we can say that one-sixth appears four times in the data, which means there are four puzzle pieces of the length one-sixth of an inch. Now, we do the same counting and drawing on the graph for each fraction on the number line. For each two-sixths we count, we plot an X over the two-sixths on the line. And we do the same for three-sixths. Four sixths and five sixths. This is how the finished plot looks like. We can now ask how many puzzle pieces have a length of one sixth, two sixths, three sixths, four sixths, and five sixths inches. Let us draw a table to write our answers. We start with one-sixth, and on the line plot, we count the number of X's over the fraction one-sixth. There are four X's. So, there are four puzzle pieces that have a length of one-sixth inches. Then, we count 
how many x's are plotted over the fraction 2 sixths to find how many puzzle pieces have a length of 2 sixths inches. There are five x's, so there are five puzzle pieces with a length of 2 sixths inches. And we do the same for every fraction. Here are the answers in the table. In this lesson, you learned how to draw line plots with fractions.